By the 16th century, the Camino was in decline, caused partly by outbreaks of disease and war, and the rise of Protestant Christianity, which was opposed to pilgrimage. But in the last 30 years, the Camino's been revived. Travellers have increased a hundredfold. How much weight are you carrying on there? I think maybe 15 with the water. 15 kilograms? Yeah. How much is Julie carrying? Maybe two. <laughs> <laughs> I met an Australian couple, Julie and Owen, who were 10 days into their Camino. It's a unique way to see a country. The fact that it happens over a span of days, it gives you a really different sort of outlook on it. It's amazing. Are you both people of faith? No, it's secular. It's a bit of a self-discovery and, and a kind of a, a you know, a relationship exercise in a way. <laughs> I don't want to be too cheeky. But <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. You know, you're not you, you're with somebody all day, every day, mm. and often completely isolated. Mm. You know, and it's. I guess when you reach your a bit of a pain threshold, you mm. can get just a little bit testy. But yeah. that's when the patience needs to come in. <sighs> yeah, and you just go okay. It's all right, we're not on the schedule. We can, we can rest if we need to. Walk with someone and you really, uh, you learn a lot about them and yourself. Mm. For better or worse. Yeah. Walking the Camino is about more than just putting one foot in front of the other, setting a target and reaching the destination. The simple act of walking for hours, even days on end, gives you something we don't often get in the 21st century, a time to reflect. I suppose the most frightening thing for me about it is that you are left alone with your thoughts in many cases. And personally, I find that frightening. It's not that I've got demons in my mind. There's just so many things to think about so many life issues, so many challenges. I start to dwell on... We occupy ourselves so much now to try and perhaps avoid considering aspects of life like that. We separate ourselves off from having to think about those sort of things. And on a walk like this, on a pilgrimage, on a long walk, you're confronted by them. Around half those walking the Camino are no longer religious pilgrims, at least in the medieval sense of penance and suffering. It seemed to me they're often well-off adventure hikers, seeking an experience they'll remember forever. Many choose to stay overnight at one of the scores of pilgrim hostels along the route. Wow, that's where we're going. There's a whole infrastructure along the Camino catering for the needs of modern travelers just as there was in medieval times. Hola. Hola. <laughs> this is the hostel of San Nicolas. Look at this place. Macarones, pasta italiana. It's run by a religious charity who provide weary pilgrims with a hearty meal and a very welcome bed for the night. Augusto. 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 Encantado. Very nice to meet you, sir. Habla inglés? Mm. Very bit. Very a bit. bit. A, a little, bit. a little. Yeah, yeah. But you have a good firm handshake, and that's what matters. <laughs> Before dinner, the hosts at this hostel gather everyone together to perform a religious ritual. We're going to wash our feet. One foot. My goodness. Cleaning the smelly feet of two dozen hikers struck me as an act of extreme penitence by the hosts. 
En el nombre de Cristo, te acogemos en el hospital de San Nicolás. Que descanso de confort, te vaya dos festas, para que esto continúe este camino a Santiago. For me, it was a rather humbling experience. Ah, si quieres, la comida. Gracias. Gracias. There was an intimate feel to the hostel that I really enjoyed. It was a chance to share a meal and stories with fellow travellers and discover their reasons for walking the Camino. Romina and Natalia had come all the way from South America. Can you tell us why you're doing this? Are you very religious? No. Personalmente, lo hago una cuestión personal, más espiritual que religiosa. And it's a big meditation. All day you're walking, and you, all your head is doing wrong. You remember your family, you remember your, I don't know, or your life goes through your head all day long. Because <laughs> you're walking and you're alone. Yeah. And it's good. You think about lots of stuff you never did or questioned before. <laughs> Have you had moments while you've been walking when you've been thinking almost too much and the, the tears start to... No to tears. No uh, tears. Yes. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> Once again, there. It's very brave of you. We are brave. <laughs> it's okay. There's a real community along the Camino that I hadn't expected and I'm quite surprised to experience. I can completely see the attraction. I think it's a magnificent and completely memorable thing to do. I've been blessed with a lot of travel experiences in recent years, the last 10 years particularly, but I won't forget this. And I think that's why a lot of people are doing it as well does provide you with experiences that you're going to remember.